If you're after a bit of comfort, my homemade curried butternut squash soup is just what you're looking for. What you need is one butternut squash chopped into long pieces like this. It can be a bit tricky, so do be careful. I normally chop it into four and then scoop the seeds out. Look at that colour. It's such a beautiful vegetable. I'm just going to scrape the seeds out. And what I'm going to do then is roast it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes just to soften it all up and just so that it's cooked through. But what that will do is it will just bring out the wonderful, wonderful natural sweetness of the vegetable. And that combined with a few chilli spices and a few warming um, spices will just make the most lovely base for a soup. These have been roasting for about half an hour with a lovely dollop of butter um, in each one. I'm just going to check, yep, they're lovely and soft, I can see that. Whilst I was um, baking those off, I got my base ready and all that is, it's really simple, a little dollop of oil with some cumin seeds for a lovely sort of warmth, ginger and garlic and some red onion that I've just sweated off and a little bit of chilli because I like to put a bit of heat with this um, soup because it balances with the sweetness from the squash really really well so those have just that's just been cooking away and all I'm going to do I'm just going to scrape off the flesh of the butternut squash The soup's been cooking with a little bit of chicken stock, about 500 mils of chicken stock. You can just use water if you prefer, but for a little extra flavour I decided to use chicken stock. Um, that's all cooked through just for about four or five minutes. You just want everything to soften and all of the flavours to come together. And then all we're going to do is just give that a good old blitz through and make a lovely thick soup with it. So it's all been blitzed through and you can see it's a beautiful vibrant orange colour and the aromatics and the smells are really warming and homely which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to add a little bit of salt because we haven't seasoned it yet and then what I want to do just for a little bit of decadence is I'm going to add a little bit of coconut cream just because it works so beautifully with this kind of a creamy soup. If you look at how thick and luxurious that is. The coconut cream just helps to loosen it just a little bit. So I'm just gonna have a little taste. Just make sure that I'm happy. And there you have it. A curried butternut squash soup that's really warming, but it's got a really, really luxurious feel to it. Just top it off with a few little chilies, just because that's what it's all about for me. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of coconut milk on. 